What's up travelers? In this video, we go and get an authentic English breakfast before we go and try out some actual English fish and chips. So stick around, check it out. sitting here at Mimo's Cafe here in Paddington, London, and uh, we just got ourselves a full English breakfast, and it's got some toast, sunny side up eggs, bacon, beans, some tomatoes, some mushrooms, and this awesome sauce. I can't really wait to get into this. So let's start with the beans first. Oh, yeah. Let's try the sausage out. I don't know how well this volume's gonna work right now, but hopefully it's working. Nice porky goodness. Of course, you gotta break the yolk. Add some toast and soft that up. Let's try some of this ham here, bacon or whatever it is. That pretty much your run of the mill ham, bacon. Yeah, pretty exciting. <laughs> Beans, meat, mushrooms. Eggs and toast. Um, seven pounds fifty for the meal, and then I get pick another three pounds for the fresh squeezed orange juice. Pretty decent deal for a breakfast. If you're in the Paddington area of London and you're looking for an English breakfast, come to Mimos. You won't be mad that you did. <laughs> well, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. What's up travelers? In this video, we're gonna go get some authentic English fish and chips.
So we're here. We got this awesome plate of fish and chips here. We got some, some torpedo prawns. We got some beans. And everything is just looking up to par. <laughs> Let's just dig in here. Look at that. Oh, look at that steam just coming off of that. That's good. Um, so this is Haddock. Uh, I don't know if I've ever had Haddock before being from the United States. It's not really a fish that we see very often. Yeah, good stuff. She gave us a bottle of something here. I'm not sure what it is. Well, that looks like ketchup. Good thing I didn't put it right directly on the fish. And then we got some, uh, um, probably some, some malt vinegar here. Put a little bit of that on that. Hey, it's really good, but being an American, I think I need some tartar sauce. <laughs> Try some of these chips here. I mean, it's hard to screw up potatoes, right? <laughs> I hate that there's this music playing in the background here. It's no good. So, this right here is a torpedo fan. I guess it looks kind of like a torpedo. <laughs> Definitely pretty good fried brown. Here's, here's the beans. Kind of like a mild barbecue sauce, but with a lot of tomato sauce in it. Um, I've never had big beans quite taste like that. But, uh, I like it though. Huh, I didn't even notice this wedge of lemon here. a big difference. Yeah, this thing is still just steaming. Yeah, that's way better with the, with the lemon in it. I had a fish with some good stuff. I think the best part about this was you see the size of that boy. I mean, wow, man. I had no fish and chips. Not really that exciting. <laughs> but, I mean, if you're in London, it's something you have to eat, right? I mean, if you don't get fish and chips while you're in London, or like the Sunday roast, or an English breakfast, and the only thing that that I'm having a real problem looking, uh, looking for is uh, spotted dick. I really want to try some spotted dick. <laughs> but I can't seem to find anywhere that has it for sale. Or at least it's within distance that I can get to. If you're in London, you're in about central London, and you want some fish and chips, I highly suggest coming over to Mickey's Fish and Chips. It's some good stuff, the prices are good. They also got some other stuff like some, some meat pies and some sausages. You can eat, they even have sausage that's deep fried in the fish batter that they got. And then they got roast chicken as well. Definitely come check it out. And as always, 
go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you have enjoyed this video. And as always, eat great food.